Okay, hello everyone. My name is Clark Towson. I'm the CEO of INTJ Billing. In this video today, I'd like to talk about this spreadsheet that I've created. This is original research from myself, Clark Towson, the CEO of INTJ Billing, that I'm presenting to the world uh, that's about the Bitcoin Lightning Network. Now, what I've done here, I've created this spreadsheet of Bitcoin Lightning Network nodes, you can see here, here are the, the Bitcoin Lightning Network node public keys. And I've created a clickable hyperlink to uh, 1ml.com, which provides more information about the node. I've put in the spreadsheet the number of Bitcoins that the node has got, and the website, and a clickable hyperlink to, to the website. Okay. And I've gone through and I've created a description of what the website is about. And for most of them, I've created a category for what the company is doing and some thoughts. Mostly I've put my thoughts in, uh, in the website description and, uh, and company category boxes. So. But the reason I've made this spreadsheet is I wanted to see if there was any insight that could be gleaned from Bitcoin Lightning Network nodes that have got, uh, uh, you know, that, that are public, that uh, have got a, a presence on 1ml.com. Uh, in particular, a presence where they've actually got their website URL on the website, okay? So for example, if I take this first node here and we go to 1ml.com, you can see here's the node. 291 bitcoins and here is the owner info so what i've done for all the bitcoin lightning network nodes and there was about uh 13 and a half thousand of them something like that i wrote a bash script that will go to 1ml.com and it will give the public uh the public key of the node and it will bring up this website and it will save the website to my Bitcoin Lightning Network node, to my Linux box. And then I've gone through and I've cut out just the hyperlink on the page, plus just the capacity in terms of the number of Bitcoin that the node's got available to come up with this spreadsheet. Okay. So of the 13 and a half thousand odd nodes on the Bitcoin Lightning Network, in terms of what I can see from my Bitcoin Lightning Network node, 422 of them have got a URL on uh, 1ml.com. Well, all of them have got available on 1ml.com, but under the owner info, that's the number of nodes that have got a hyperlink there to a website or a social media uh, presence, etc. So the idea of doing this was are there any insights that can be gleaned from analyzing Lightning Network node operators' websites? Right. Is there any, any, any details that perhaps can't be easily gleaned from 1ml.com or other Bitcoin Lightning Network uh, publicly facing websites? And I think there, there are. So I'd like to go through my findings shortly. So what I've done here, I've come up with the, uh, the average number of Bitcoins Okay, for a Bitcoin Lightning Network node. Now remember, this isn't the average number of Bitcoins for all of the nodes on the Bitcoin Lightning Network. This is the average number of Bitcoins for Lightning nodes that specifically have a website URL. Okay, and same for the rest of these statistics. Lowest number of Bitcoins is this. Highest number of Bitcoins is that. Median number of Bitcoins is this. Okay. So, one of my findings, one of my findings. So, in this spreadsheet, what I've done, I've highlighted in yellow all the websites which I found really interesting, okay, that I want to talk about in this video. And I've also uh, highlighted in green other websites which, which I'm not going to discuss in this video, but which I also found interesting, okay. So, it's the, the highlighted parts which I've basically come up with these these findings at a, at a high level. I'd like to go through them now. So number one, 
bit refill. So here we go, bit refill. Very interesting website where you can live off cryptocurrency by converting Bitcoin to gift cards and then spending the gift cards at the biggest and best retailers, right? Now, popular website, high up on the list, okay? High up on the list here, here we go. Number, number nine, is it? Number nine, in terms of, now I've ordered this uh, spreadsheet by the number of Bitcoins, okay? So quite a number of Bitcoins that they've got so remember, all these websites are Bitcoin Lightning Network node operators. So they're running Lightning Network nodes. Now I'm going to utilize this company's services. So there's one insight that I've, gla that I've gleaned from making this spreadsheet and going through and, and checking on these companies and having a look and see what products and services they're offering. Now, I'm interested in this website because, because um, I can buy gift cards for all different kinds of businesses. Maybe I don't want to convert my crypto to, to cash. Maybe I just want to, uh, to, to buy Bitcoin, um, these gift cards with it. Whenever I need to buy products and services, hey, have a look at this. I can pretty much buy anything that I want, right? What are all these companies? JB Hi-Fi, Amazon, eBay, Coles, Flight Center, Good Guys, Apple, Airbnb, right? want to spend some money you can do it in this manner have i cashed out into fair currency have i or have i just bought a, a, a gift card now i'm sure a lot of people would be you know, utilizing this company's services to buy these gift cards i don't talk about taxation or anything like that on this on this channel but i'm, I'm putting this out there that this website is here it's available it's quite highly ranked Right? For anyone who wants to live off, off gift cards and off their, their crypto. Second one, coincept.com. Here's a website where you can purchase Lightning Network incoming capacity. And I went through and I did purchase some. I purchased, uh, I think it was 12, 12 million Satoshis worth of uh, incoming channel capacity. Okay. And if you go have a look at my node on Lightning Network Plus, here we go. Coincept.com, 12 million and 50,000 Satoshis. Again, if I didn't do this analysis, I wouldn't have found Coincept.com and I wouldn't have purchased that incoming liquidity for my node. No? Andreas Antonopoulos. Okay, Andreas Antonopoulos is running a node, Bitcoin Lightning Network node, which can also be seen. Uh, where are we? Andreas, where is he? Here he is. I go to my spreadsheet and I click here. Straight to one ml.com straight to Andreas Antonopoulos's node. Okay. Now if I copy his public key and I go to Lightning Network Plus, I can also have a look at him uh, on here as well. Here he is. Now, Andreas Antonopoulos is one of the most, if not the most trusted figure within the Bitcoin uh, education space. Highly respected. Extremely, extremely technically uh, uh, proficient and all around good guy, right? So if I have a look through the, uh, the channels that Andreas has opened up, there's nothing that surprises me when I look through his channels. He's got a number of large channels that are open, but if we go all the way down to the bottom, we can see he's also opened, uh, he's got small channels opened as well. Now, I share Andreas's philosophy in terms of uh, Bitcoin being about the rest of the world. It's not all about the first world, right? This is about the rest of, this is about the developing world and their needs. So his philosophy opening smaller uh, channels to other nodes, I very much like, very much like. And I think that I will open a channel to Andreas's 
Lightning Network node. Right. What else? Here's a website that I found through this analysis. Helping develop a Bitcoin ecosystem in Costa Rica. So here's a person who has gone off and created a company and is doing what I want to be doing in Thailand, where they've gone off to Costa Rica and they're helping Bitcoin and the Bitcoin Lightning Network to succeed. All right. Now, I wouldn't have found this website if I didn't do my analysis. All right. The Voluntarius web website, voluntarius.com. Interesting guy. I'm going to go through all his articles. He's got a lot of good stuff here. Once again, wouldn't have found this guy if I hadn't have done this research. Also found a website which has got... Uh, Look at this. So that link goes to this paper about renewable readiness assessment for El Salvador. December 2020, all about El Salvador and renewable energy. I'm going to have a good read through this. So remember that these websites that I'm talking about here, these are the, the ones that I found the most interesting when I was going through and doing my research, going through all these websites, 430 odd these websites. All right. One page that I really liked was this, plebnet.satoshis.tech. Look at this. This is a visualization of the Bitcoin Lightning Network. All the node names. You can zoom in, look around. How cool is this? Hey? Eh? Do all sorts of things with this. Turn it around like that, turn it upside down. So I'm going to create a link on my website to this website because I think that this is really cool. It's one of the best visualizations that I've seen in the Bitcoin Lightning Network. This guy here, uh, who's created some stats about lightning. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, that's interesting. So this guy's running a Bitcoin Lightning Network node, and then what he's done, he's uh, created statistics about his node. Connections by day, by month, mm -hmm. load averages, etc. I think I might create a page like this on my INTJ billing business website. Have some stats about my Bitcoin Lightning Network node. Additional stats over and above what I'm already, uh, what I've already um, provided on my website, if I do for a search here, statistics. Let's go back up. There we go. Latest statistics from INTJ Billings node. You can see here my stats page. Got a lot of details in here about my Lightning Network node, all the channels that I'm connected to, all my peers, uh, all the public keys. Updated every 15 minutes. I'll add some additional details based on what that guy's done with, uh, with his website. Mm -hmm. Now, interestingly, there are 425 websites from the 13,618 Lightning Network nodes that I could find. So only 3.12% of Lightning Network operators are identifying themselves publicly via 1ml.com with, with a URL to a website or social media or other identifying details. So I wonder why, what, and the question is, what are the other 97 odd percent of node operators up to? ones who are not publicly identifying themselves. Right? Maybe they're very interested in privacy and payments. Okay. There's a whole lot, there's a, a much bigger world out there than my spreadsheet here. This is all that I could find for, remember, for nodes that are publicly, publicly displaying uh, right? their social media details. 
on winemail.com. Be fascinating to know what the other 97% of node operators are, are doing, what they're up to, the number of bitcoins that they've got available, what their business is, etc. You know? So when I look through this, this spreadsheet, I have a look. Website descriptions. A lot of them are cryptocurrency exchanges. It's lightning liquidity providers. That's wallet creators. There's educational resource providers. There's early Bitcoiners, number of software engineers. There's sites where you can just pay with crypto. There's all sorts of innovation that's going on here on the Bitcoin Lightning Network. Now, there are a lot of personal websites uh, available. Just early Bitcoiners, technically oriented people and the like. So I'm going to make this spreadsheet available on my website and I'll be providing a link on this video in the description to this video. Feel free to download it, have a look through it. Go to some of these websites, see what you think. You might see some things which I have missed. Maybe you'd like to share those details with me and other people. Uh, if you do find something interesting that I've missed, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of websites in here, and I have tried to condense them in terms of uh, the best ones that stood out to me. Okay, stood out to me. But you can see all this innovation, all these people who are helping to contribute to the Bitcoin Lightning Network. It's very, very encouraging to see. Now, it is a little bit of a uh, cottage industry at the moment. What is a cottage industry? A cottage industry is uh, a group of businesses or people, disparate people, uh, located around the world who are doing things on a uh, a small basis or small to medium basis, some on a large basis with a lot of bitcoins, but it hasn't been hyper uh, corporatized in terms of what happened to the internet with the development of the big platforms Facebook, Google, YouTube, LinkedIn, and the like. Right? And then we don't want to see that. We want to encourage Bitcoin Lightning Network operators to. Uh, to have nodes and to further decentralize the network and keep their nodes in their hands and to not see a whole lot of consolidation within the space. We want to see more decentralization. Right? That's what we're all doing here. Right? So yeah, that's my Bitcoin Lightning Network nodes that have websites spreadsheet. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation. I'm available for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Lightning Network consultations. You're able to hire me as a computer scientist. If you're interested in this, go to my website, intjbilling.com, check out my Bitcoin Lightning Network page and my Bitcoin consulting page. This is an original piece of, of research. Um, you see my node ranking is uh, about halfway down the spreadsheet, so I'm a mid-range operator couple of things, uh, outcomes of this spreadsheet, what I'm going to do shortly, okay, what I'm going to do. And I'll put some comments which um, I'll probably remove before I make, uh, make the spreadsheet public, but um, I'm going to add a link to this Bitcoin Lightning Network liquidity provider, that's uh, coincept.com. Okay. I'm going to connect to this node called Lightning Hoarder. Actually, uh, I think I missed talking about that. I might just go to that quickly before I finish. This, this node in particular stood out to me in terms of what, what they're doing. Okay. There's a whole lot of details on, about this node that you, can, that you can have a look at. So I'm going to connect to that node. I'm going to connect to uh, Andreas's node and open a channel to to his node. I might have a bit of a play around with adding some details to the Bitcoin blockchain using the op return code. I'm going to add a link on my website to that visualization, which I thought was really awesome. 
found it an Australian, another Australian uh, node operator here. Might open a channel to him. Oh yeah, one guy here who's doing something. Uh, he's got some not suitable for work content. That was actually the only operator. I think there was only one or two that had not suitable for work content. Oh, this page here, uptime monitoring page. I thought this was very good. Now Atlassian sells a product called status page. Now there's open source versions of uh, status page as well, uh, which I had a look at. And I also found this one, uptimerobot.com. I actually might use Uptime Robot okay, to monitor my Bitcoin Lightning Network node and provide a status page on my website like this person has. So I think that's very, very cool. So once again, I wouldn't have found that particular company if I didn't do this, do this analysis. Here in pink, some of you know that I do volunteer work in the transgender community. I found two websites here that are bars that are selling alcohol. Now, I do work with Matt O'Keefe at Pride of Our Community Bar, and the idea is that we're implementing Bitcoin Lightning Network payments for drinks at the bar. So that's interesting, given that I've gone through the spreadsheet, okay, and out of the 400 and, what is it, 445 nodes, okay, in total, in this spreadsheet, only two of them, only two of them were about selling alcohol on the, on the Lightning Network. But from what I could see, they weren't actually selling alcohol on their websites or using the Bitcoin Lightning Network for that purpose. So we're very, very early at this. And my work with Matt, Matt is a pioneer. I'm a pioneer. We've come together, we've worked, working together on this particular particular project to implement Bitcoin Lightning Network payments at the bar. Uh, one of the first. Now, of course, one of the first looking at this analysis of Bitcoin Lightning Network nodes that have, that have um, public URLs. So we still, we don't know what the other 97% of node operators that are not public, okay, that are not public, what they're up to. All right. So that's it. I hope that you're all well. Feel free to download this spreadsheet um, using the link in the video description. And um, yeah, all the best, everyone. I'm Clark Towson, CEO of INTJ Billing.